there, Mikachi here. So today I am super excited to do this book review for you. I got a great opportunity to get the advanced reader's copy of Wonder Woman Warbringer so I could read it ahead of time, let you guys know what I think. And not to mention there's huge hype going on right now because the movie comes out this weekend, which is super exciting. So I kind of wanted to know more about Wonder Woman before I went and saw that movie. This does not come out until August 29th this year, but it is up for pre-order. I actually liked this book so much I pre-ordered the hard copy as well because, yeah. Little disclaimer, I am not a huge comic book person per se. The only thing I really know about any comic book characters is what I see in the movies that my husband forces me to watch. But I'm glad he does because I do end up liking the movies. I've never really seen or read anything Wonder Woman related, so I didn't know what to expect going into this book. I know nothing about her origin, nothing about Diana in general, so yeah. This review is coming from someone who doesn't know anything about Wonder Woman, so if you're a diehard Wonder Woman fan, I really cannot say what you're going to think about this book. But from my perspective, I really loved it. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. Which is crazy because I don't give a lot of things that, but I really can't fault this book for anything. So I actually think DC is doing something really cool. They're teaming up with a bunch of young adult authors to create characters that, you know, maybe people like me who don't know anything about them might get into them. Um, I know there is a Catwoman, Batman, and Superman one also coming out soon. Catwoman by Sarah J Mass, which we all know and love. But yeah, it should be interesting and I really hope that they expand on this story because I did enjoy it so much. Going into this book, I'd say it's more of a coming of age story for Diana and not so much an origin story because it's not really how she becomes Wonder Woman. It actually occurs before that. It's a tale about the first time she leaves her home island of Themyscira and why she chooses to do so. It's really a story of her learning her own strengths and weaknesses because she's never really tested them. She's only been around people on the island and never really interacted with the human world so she really doesn't know how awesome and cool she really is. She ends up making some big decisions in this book and you get to see whether they were good or bad. I also forgot to mention, I think that these chapter pages are so cool and I want them to put them in the final copy and I really hope they do. Like this page, like if the chapter starts on this page, it has that part of the W, but if it's on the other page, you get the other side. So I thought that was really neat. So besides Diana, which I did end up really loving as a character, I feel like there were some really cool other characters in this book. They were very diverse, they had a lot of character development. This book was really funny at times, it was serious at other times, it had me going back and forth. Not to mention the plot was really good. I really, really enjoyed the story and I really want her to continue because I want to know what happens next. I think Leigh Bardugo gave Wonder Woman a very good origin story or coming of age story and if you guys are a fan of her work or DC in general, or Wonder Woman, you should pick it up and check it out yourself. So we will leave our Amazon link down below if you guys do want to pre-order it. Leave me a comment, let me know if you're looking forward to this book or if you're looking forward to the movie, if you're a Wonder Woman fan, anything Wonder Woman related, feel free to leave me down below. I do have a Goodreads page as well if you want to check that out. I did a full review on this book, I do other reviews on that as well, we will leave the link for you down below. I do keep up with it pretty well, so if you want to know what I'm reading, when I'm reading, how far I am. I do update it quite often, so check that out. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.